My name is Jade Raymond. I'm the producer of Assassin's Creed, and I'm here to talk to you today about the storyline behind Assassin, exactly what you're going to be doing as an assassin, and where the game takes place. Okay, so Assassin's Creed takes place during the Third Crusade. The exact year is 1191. You play Altair, a master assassin who is a member of the original clan of assassins. Actually, the term assassin comes from this clan. They were called the Hashishin, which is thought to be maybe followers of Hassan, the old man of the mountain, the guy who started up this clan maybe users of Ashish. Your mission is to track down, find, and take out nine key guys who are architecting the Crusades. Actually making the war and the population suffer and making it bad for everyone. So you've got to hunt these guys down and take them out. We've recreated all of the Holy Land, so a huge kingdom that includes all of the major cities as they existed back then, recreated exactly as they were in the year 1191. We worked with a historian to find all of the reference material. And the guys that you take out are actually historical figures who died during the year 1191. Maybe not killed by assassins, but they could have been. You start out basically in Masayef, which is the base in Syria that the assassins used there. And you go down and explore basically the whole kingdom. There's Acre, there's Damascus, there's Jerusalem. Probably most people have heard of Jerusalem. Acre is the city at the time that Richard the Lionheart had recently taken over. It's right by the water. And Damascus is a city that was more or less the whole time controlled by the Saracens. So that's more traditional Arabic style. And throughout these places, you're going to find these key guys and assassinate them. As you do so, you're also going to find out that there's a little bit more that they were up to beyond just profiting from the war. There's actually a conspiracy that you'll uncover, and it has implications all the way to the modern day. But I can't necessarily tell you more, otherwise, I'd ruin the surprise, so you have to play the game to find out. So, one little thing about the assassins you may want to know before you try and join up to their modern day counterparts is that there's a little sacrifice that's required. And um, if you look at Altair's main weapon, which is his hidden dagger right here, um, you're going to notice something in detail that he has a finger missing. And so there's part of the initiation ceremony when you make the transition from novice to assassin that is ready to go out and actually complete his missions, you have this very dramatic experience where a finger is cut off and the hidden dagger is installed. And that is there because most of the assassinations have to be done within the crowd in full view and you can't be walking around with a whole bunch of obvious weapons if you're going to assassinate people in that context. So it's a sacrifice they were willing to make. So that was the story in a little more than a nutshell. Thanks for tuning in and check out the future Dev Diaries. We're going to cover all kinds of topics.